Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool or service you could use to instantly send files and folders to other people. So this is different than uploading to you know, Dropbox or OneDrive or Google Drive, that type of thing, and then sharing the file. This actually involves you sending a file directly to the other person, to their device, and you could also use it to send files directly to your other devices. So the app is called Blip, and the catch is you will need to sign up for an account, which is free. They do have a pay for plan as well, and you'll have to install the little app and have it running, and the other people who you're going to send files to will have to do the same thing. All right, so if we go to their website here, you can see they have it for various operating systems. Linux is still in the works, but you could sign up if you want to get on a waiting list for that. And then if you go to the pricing, so it's free, unless you want to use the business plan. A little faster speed, priority support for commercial use. All right, so once you download the app and install it, and you can get it from the Microsoft Store, or you could get it from here, which will actually open up the Microsoft Store. All right, then you'll have it running down here in your system tray, like so. And you can go to the settings from here. You can have sound effects, have it launch at startup, have it auto accept from your devices, or nothing. You could change your save location. I put it on the desktop here. And then we have a profile if you want to add a picture, change your name, decide if you want to be searchable by other people. Then this shows your devices that you have configured with this account. So this computer is running Windows 11. So we have one account here. And let's go over to a different computer. All right. So on this computer, I have the Microsoft Store page uh, still open here. So you would just search for Blip Transfer, look for this icon, make sure it's a Blip Studio, and then click on Get or Install, whatever the button happens to say, and then you'd be ready to go there. And then this computer is configured with the same thing right here. All right, so when you use it, you could either drag and drop a file into there. So let's say you open the app here. So it'll keep track of your previous contacts if you sent stuff to them before. And then you could send to your devices if you have another device connected with your account, or you could type in their email address. So if I pick Todd, for example, you could send files or folders. So I click on Send Files. Let's send this one here. So now you can see this file has been sent to Todd. So it's waiting for Todd on the other end. So let's go back to that computer. All right, so here you can see that the file is being sent. and We just have to accept it or decline it. And then you could pick a different folder if you don't want to have it go to your default. All right, so the file has been received. So we could show in folder or open it, or just go right to our folder. And we can see we have it there. All right, so now let's go do it the right click way. So let's say we want to send this Word document to Cindy because now we're on Todd's account here. We could right click it, choose Blip. It'll open up the interface here. You'll have your recent contacts. You can type in an email address. You can see Cindy's online with the green dot. So we just click her name here. Now we have to go over to Cindy's computer and accept the file. All right, go ahead and click on accept here. All right, so that one is done as well. All right, so now let's see what happens. If Cindy closes her client here, now let's go back over to Todd and send another file. Now you can see the green dot is gone, so Cindy's not online. And now it's going to wait for her to connect, but if we go back over to Cindy, Obviously, she's not going to see the notification because her app is closed. Let's try opening it again here. So you see it's connecting down here. And now we have our file that Todd sent before. So it kind of puts it in cache or puts it on hold, I should say, until the other person logs back in and then you could reconnect. So I'm not sure how long it'll stay before it times out. I think they had that on their website, but I don't remember what it said or if it said 
but I guess you could find out if the other person's not online and then the transfer times out and then you could resend it. All right, so once again, just go to the Microsoft Store, do a search for Blip, install it, just decline this, and then you'll have it running down here in your tray. Then you can open the window, send files from here, check your settings, exit, and then of course you'll have the right click option here once you install it. All right, and then one last note to this. Um, even though it's sending files directly to the other person, it still obviously needs to go through some type of server or service on their end to do so, even though they call it more of a peer-to-peer -peer thing. So I would be cautious about sending uh, files that have confidential or personal information. So, of course, that's up to you if you want to uh, trust it or not. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.